everyone talking from Paris good morning from Paris today we are here and we want to explore the city and I'm going to show you what is the free things you can do here in Paris so I'm going to do the whole tour just for free except the metro of, of course all the other things will be free so check it out it's my first time in the city so I'm really excited it was always my dream to know this beautiful and amazing place I was always in love with the city and the movies that I watch about Paris so I'm really Really excited I want to help you when you visit Paris the places you should go and visit and it's for free because definitely Paris is an expensive country like I was in Portugal this is why I'm with this voice uh, because I went to Nazare and I got some rainy days so unfortunately I got a bit sick this is why I'm, my voice is like that but that's not going to interrupt my trip and my journey. Uh, comparing Portugal to France, definitely France is more expensive, but here in France, they have a lot of free things to do, free tours to do. So check it out because I'm going to show you and I'm going to help you how to prepare a trip here in Paris, expanding less and enjoying a lot. Let's go. First of all, we're going to take the metro. We are a bit far from the center of Paris. We're going to take the metro and we're going directly to Eiffel. So let's go. All right. All right. Already in the metro. Already going. Everyone excited. <laughs> Say hi, mom. Hi. <laughs> Did you guys see it? Uh, Christmas trees, it's around, almost Christmas right now, so all the city will be with Christmas lights and with the Christmas vibe. Welcome to Paris and welcome to the, the, the Eiffel Tower. Let's go. So the first thing you have to do, definitely you have to do, because you are in Paris, you need to visit the tower. But to enter and to go up in the tower, you're going to pay. So to be free, I just highly recommend you to go to this park. You can take the best photos, because when you go up, you're going to see the city but the photos are not so good. So that is the first free option for you and definitely like the most obvious. So yeah, that is the first option, free option for you. When you visit Paris, definitely you need to visit the Eiffel Tower and take the photos just right here because they have like the perfect and the, the best angle for you and the tower. To Trocadero, which is the place that everyone's go to uh, take the photos with the Eiffel Tower. Actually, you have a lot of angles, different angles that take the photo in the Eiffel Tower. We're passing through the Senna. Guys, just like living a dream because I always dream to go to Paris and I always watch a lot, of, a lot of movies about Paris. So I'm really in love with the city. Time to go to Grand Palais. And unfortunately, everything here in Paris is far away from um, each tourist points are far away from each other, so we have to walk a lot. But now we're going to Grand Palais, which is really nearby the Eiffel Tower, and also from Troncadero, which is the place for you to take the photo. The good thing about Paris is that like even not uh, arriving in the destination yet it, that's already like a bunch of beautiful places uh, for you to see so like just walking around Paris 
you see so many things like I'm I'm walking right now near the the, the, the Senna and I just pass in this park which is like beautiful and so romantic and cozy uh, and then we just pass like in a place that I assume that is a coffee shop but together with a museum so that's so much thing to see here in Paris definitely yeah definitely be prepared when you come you're going to walk a lot I just arrived and behind me it's uh, the Grand Palais and in this other part also have the bridge uh, of Lex Alexander the third and it's just beautiful just this bridge is definitely the best place for you to take a photo make you think that you're fancy and rich without having to pay anything so definitely a great spot for a photo in Paris and it's just amazing to see because the bridge have gold in it it's just beautiful and it's pure gold like wow I just discovered that they are uh, rebuilding it. So, so yeah, we just arrived in the Grand Palais and it's closed, unfortunately. So unfortunately, I cannot visit this time, but uh, I highly recommend if you're coming here in the, in the, in the time that it's not like that, to visit this place because it's free I don't know if it's going to be free in that, in that time so I highly recommend you to visit I didn't have the opportunity this time but maybe the next one So the next place you need to visit is Petit Palais, it's just amazing, free entrance, you have a lot of art, great spots for photos and also inside the museum there's a coffee shop that is considered one of the most beautiful in the world, it's definitely a great option for you. And now the best part. from Paris. We are in the second day visiting Notre Dame. We cannot enter but at least worth the visit like just to come and take some photos. After that in the Museum of Louvre. So let's go take some photos and then museum stays really 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 cold. Really cold. My like I can't feel my hands. Não sinto minhas mãos, não sinto minhas mãos, não sinto minhas mãos. And we just arrived in Louvre and it's just amazing. The museum is just beautiful. Uh, we're not going to enter, but we're going to take some photos here. And you can see like the place is amazing and 
the architecture that they also have here is just like impressive. It's beautiful to see. One place you definitely also need to visit is Galeria Lafayette, which, which by the way will be so beautiful right now because of Christmas. So we are going inside uh, just to see. It's definitely a place like it's really, really beautiful, even when it's not Christmas. So right now I bet it's amazing. And also it's a place for you to hide from the cold because right now it's too cold. Let's go. And there's also inside the gallery this cute place to take a photo. It's free, but you need a reservation before you go. Ai, tava tão quentinho lá dentro. When you come to the gallery, you definitely need to go up to the end. You're going to find this, the rooftop, and you're going to see the, like, it's the perfect place for you to take some photo, and it's free of cost. So it's definitely worth it. I highly recommend it. But unfortunately today, like, it's cloudy. You can see the Eiffel Tower, but it's still beautiful. So passing Louis Vuitton store and that just like a line. See, we should go in the, in the Louis Vuitton store. What do you think about? We should go there just to stay in the line. But it's just beautiful. And together with that, that's another one. This one, this is also Louis Vuitton, and it's just beautiful. It's huge. Wow. Freezing. And now we just arrived in Arc de Triomphe Street. You can see, just have like great brand stores like Cartier, uh, Rolex, Dior, Givenchy, just like the best of the best in this street. And it's just an amazing place for you to walk around. Definitely just walk around. The best place for a photo is in the middle of the street. But you definitely need to be aware that that's a big line to take the photo. But it's worth it. Today we are in Montmartre. We wanted to see the Sacre Coeur. It's just right there. We just need to go up. We can also take the... I don't know how to say that in English, but we have to take that one or the stairs. We're going to take the stairs because we are athletes, you know. Let's go.
And another place you can't miss to visit and to take at least a photo is Moulin Rouge. is a Kaaba uh, here in Paris. It's really known because of the Ken Ken, which is the typical dance here. So because of the Moulin Rouge, Ken Ken uh, was a new way of dancing in that time. That, so it became popular because of this. So it's definitely worth to visit. And when it's Christmas time, you definitely can miss the Christmas markets that is everywhere around Paris. Not just one place, but multiple places. And now we came to Jardin de Tuleri. Also, the Jardin de Tuleri is just amazing. It's so, so beautiful. Like, I've just saw places like this in movies. So, being here, that just an honor. And it's definitely like make you fall in love. It has like a cozy vibe. And uh, I don't know, just love it. Seems that I'm inside a movie. Everywhere I go here in Paris, make me feel like that, you know? Just amazing. And Jardin de Tuleri is just an amazing park for you to enjoy a picnic or just to walk around to sit and enjoy the view. And it's near the Christmas market, also near the Champs Elysees and the Museum of Louvre. Don't you agree that this park just came from a dramatic scene of a movie? And the last one is Mountain Avenue. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but this street is just amazing to visit. It has all the fancy stores and brands we always dreamed of. And the decoration is breathtaking. It's just beautiful on Christmas. You definitely can miss it. So this was the itinerary of what to do for free in France. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any doubt, please let in the comments, subscribe for more and let's go to the next adventure.